hit it. Yeah. So just relax, just relax, just relax. Hey guys. I'm Bob. I'm Barb. Together we make up. Tennis World. Today is a video. It's a current video and it's not like any other video we've done before. So today I'm coming to you with a heavy heart. Um, after two and a half years and 25,000 miles and over hundreds of campsites visited and driving a commercial vehicle for over a million miles, I wrecked our home. So four days ago, we left our campground and we arrived at this campground on a Sunday. I'm gonna go over what happened. It was a mistake I made and I just wanted to go over it and maybe help somebody else down the road if it ever happens to you. But what happened, we pulled into this new campsite. It was on a Sunday, so the office was closed. They had a late arrival box. I got out and walked up to the late arrival box and there was no late arrivals about that time across the way a guy yelled pull up to the stop sign pulled straight through and you turn left to go into the enter this campground well i got back into the truck so we have to pull forward to uh, get the paperwork so not thinking because I, I got off my game, I guess. I don't know. I, I've, I have beat myself up for the last two and a half days. What I do wrong? What could I done right? Uh, it's been really tough because I never wanted to hurt the house. <laughs> and I looked out the mirror. I didn't see anything because we were pulled up right alongside of a about a 12 inch to 18 inch tall curve. That was very jagged and been hit multiple times. So I get back in the truck and I put it in gear and I look in a mirror, but I don't see anything because I don't know. And, I, and I, I don't blame the park at all. I don't blame the park host, the camp host. He was just telling me to pull up like he would tell anybody else. Automatically, my eyes focused on that stop sign that was off to the left about 50 feet or so. And I turned the truck toward it and I drove the left front wheel into this curb. So it occurred here, and Bob is so careful that we stopped here, and we knew there was no one to check in, they were waving us on, and then we just went forward and we got caught right here. Initially, we didn't know how much the damage was, but it pushed the jack out of the way, scraped down the side of the slide, the one slide. So it bent the jack on a 45 degree angle and blew out the tire. It, it hit the tire, bent the rim on the inside. So automatically our uh, tire TPMS started going off. Yeah, it's like the tire's not working. And Barb didn't hear it, but I saw, no. it, I saw it blow out the mirror because I realized what I had done when it happened. As soon as it happened, I jumped out of the truck right away. So it never, I never heard the sound until I watched the video later. I like had it popped out of my head or something. So the, the camp host, he was sick to his stomach. He walked up. Of course, I was beside myself. I was just sick of how I could do something so stupid. And and it happened. I mean, it's uh, um, just an accident. Yeah. So we ended up having to back up a little bit, got around it like I should have been from the very beginning. We pulled up to that stop sign we were heading toward. And I got out and my hydraulic jack mm -hmm. out and my gun, my or my um, my uh, impact driver, <laughs> not my gun, my impact driver. He didn't and shoot I, anybody. And I removed the tire because I thought I could save the rim since the tire was blown. I don't know. The tire looks normal, but it, the air, I, lo I tried to put air in it, but it wouldn't reseat. But I didn't realize once I took the tire off that the rim was was badly bent in the back. Yeah. Couldn't see it from the front, but it was bent in the in the back end. So 
the guy took us back to our site. We backed in, got backed in with no problem, and um, the overwhelmingness of what I had just done was just starting to begin. It, it, it just played on me for days. I couldn't even tell my own kids about it because I was so upset with myself. But four days later, I'm, I feel a little better about it. And now when I look at it, it don't look quite as bad as it did initially. I mean, it, it's bad. He's trying to fix things before the um, insurance person comes out. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, stop. Yeah, don't fix it, like, tell me. Don't fix it before they show up. I hear him out there banging. I'm like, stop it. Yeah, that's just my nature because I'm a, I'm a, a technician by heart. So that's what we wanted to share with you guys is that and what happened. We're going to kind of take you through the whole process of what happens when you get into an yeah. accident with, a, with an RV. So you're going to get to learn with us. We don't know if we got suspension damage or what's been really damaged until we actually get it assessed. That I went into automatic protective mode, whether you're my kids, someone I really care about, or my husband, I go into protective mode because I know he is upset. You know, he's, I think he, it's like grief. He's, he was just out of his mind with grief because it was so horrible and people would literally come in the park and they would pull right up and stop and they'd and be they like stare. and they'd be asking questions and my kids know and he knows i'm like move it along you don't nothing to see here and they're like and they move on yeah i had a couple of my you know just told them to get in their get in their golf carts and move on yeah. they don't need to see anything here yeah so and, it's, and, and then the campus was nice. He took us down to our spot, but then some guy met him, and then they're chatting in the thing, and we're like, we need to back in. So then they get back out there, and they got their golf carts, and we're like, we need you to move the golf carts because we have to pull past the site to back in. Yeah. And then they wanted to go over and look at the thing, and I'm like, you know, you just need to move on. You know, we just need some time. And then the last one was a little old man with a dog walked by like six or seven times and I turned around and I'm like he's a little old man Barb I go we're fine just keep moving along and he goes I need to know what how he just kept asking me and I said we don't want to talk about it right now we are trying to set up and stabilize the cover yeah he did <laughs> he did say several people have hit in that and which didn't make the me host did yeah which didn't make me feel yeah. any better it was a freak thing because Bob as you guys know, is so super cautious, so super cautious. And we, we, we still don't really know how, how we did it. I mean, we know how we did it, well, but it's, yeah, I know, mean, we, like just, I, we just turned left. That's all we did. Like we didn't have a camper on. Like I said, at the very beginning of the video, I've got millions of miles behind me with no accidents. I uh, got wards for no accidents, driving a commercial, a medium-sized box truck. And I had 25,000 miles with this rig and two and a half years of experience going in and out of hundreds of parks. We'll get into more about the insurance yeah. company and stuff like that on the next video. The one good thing is that we are scheduled here in Rockport for four weeks. We are hoping that we can get things resolved within that period. Otherwise, our whole schedule that we have booked out to get us home is going to be yeah we've already made changed. we've already made some modifications to that so we can be here for getting assessments done so i think that's that's about all we can say at this point yeah do we want you to like this video <sighs> yes because it moves us up in google analytics i want positive <laughs> comments <laughs> we want supportive comments about how we're going to be okay not you're an idiot why'd out. you do that for yeah. what'd you wreck your house for and that your wife's a meanie to old people and none of that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's... So like, subscribe, smash up that notification bell because this is part one of what's going to be a series of Bob Wreck the RV and let's get it fixed. So remember, we're ahead of this world. Come travel in our world. Bye!